What is up guys, ladies and gents, please like, subscribe, help us hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of view time so we can keep our YouTube game going. We're having a lot of fun, we're having a blast doing the channel, but we gotta make it worth our while a bit. So help us get the word out, share with your friends. Hope you enjoy this one. What is up guys, Derek with Divine here at Divine Audiovisual Headquarters. This is a room that you have not seen before. We're doing something very cool in this room today. I have an Epson 3800 and the Epson 4050, so we can directly compare the picture between these two 4K upscaling projectors. So next, I'm gonna hand you Warren over to some specs and then he can do some direct comparisons so we can see what you guys think of the difference and if you see a difference between that $1,500 price point projector and that $2,400 price point projector. Let's check it out. All right, thanks, Derek. All right, so guys, we've got the Epson 3800 and the Epson 4050. These are both great projectors and they have different price points as Derek mentioned. Uh, the Epson 4050 is a bit of a higher end projector. It does have a 200,000 to one dynamic contrast ratio, which is exactly double of the 3800's 100,000 to one contrast ratio. Uh, you have an automatic lens, you have automatic lens cap that opens and closes on the uh, Epson 4050. And that is pretty nice for keeping some of the dust out. You do not have that feature on the 3800. The 3800, however, is brighter. The 3800 comes in at 3000 lumens and 2900 lumens on your color brightness lumen output. And then you have the, uh, the Epson 4050, which has a 2400 lumen and 2400 lumen color and white output. Uh, the, the 4050 is part of the professional cinema lineup, so it does have a three year warranty. It comes with an extra mount in the box. So I'm sorry, it comes with an extra lamp in the box and it has a mounting bracket. It, um, it's got a three year warranty instead of a two year warranty like the 3800 has. So it's a bit of a bump in price to get you, you know, from that, from that $1,700 point or $1,799 point, depends on what it is at the market at the time, up to that $2,399 price point of the 4050. So both good projectors, both have a really nice vibrant picture. And let's just cut the small talk and get into a little bit of the uh, demos right now. I have the Epson 3800. As you see, it's um, quite a vibrant image. We are actually using uh, a screen that's most similar to like a Screen Innovations Pure Gray. It is a 0.89 gain screen. It is acoustically transparent with nano perforations in it. Um, with that said, you'll see the dark tones are great. So really nice dark tones. It's got, it's got good blacks, vibrant whites. Um, you can see the black tone right there is, is is pretty dark overall. It's not quite as dark as the 4050, which you'll see in a second. Um, colors are good. Yellows, reds, greens, I've noticed, are quite fantastic on this thing. And honestly, for the price, it's pretty hard to beat it. It really is. So uh, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised when we plugged it in for the first time. All right, let's get into the image samples of the 4050. All right, so right away you'll notice that the dark tones, so the black areas, are significantly darker on this unit, and that would be attributed to that higher contrast ratio of 200,000 to 1. Um, colors, I feel like, are pretty similar between the two units. Overall detail, um, the clarity of this projector appears to be a little bit more to me, and I would attribute that to the 4050s, uh, 15 piece glass lens. So it's got a 15 piece glass lens as opposed to the poly lens that's on the 3800. That just brings a bit more clarity. It's sort of like having a really high end lens on your DSLR. All right, so you'll notice colors are good. The yellow tones are great. Reds are good. A lot of detail in his face right there. So fantastic projector overall. If you've got the money, I would personally step it up to the 4050. It's just a bunch of bang for the buck. All right guys, so now we've seen the Epson 3800 and we've seen the 4050, but let's try putting them side by side and see how that goes. Um, 
Personally, we, uh, both Warren and I agree, we do see a huge difference in that 4050, but let's let you see for yourself. Check it out. All right, guys, so now we're going to move on to tech with the tech final thoughts. We've got my brother and myself here. We have a lot of experience putting these things in. We've put over 20 Epson 3800s in, and I've installed at least 150 Epson 4050s, as well as its predecessor, the 5050 or 4040, because it's Pro Cinema series. And we've seen a huge influx and a huge increase in quality personally from our professional standpoint between the 4040 up to the 4050 and from the 5040 to the 5050. So I'll hand it on over to Warren and see what his thoughts are on it. Yeah, man, I really thought, um, you know, just seeing the comparison today in person, you know, it, I really think that the 4050 is the winner by far. Um, but, you know, that price point, I was actually leaning towards that 3800 for a second. I ended up going with the 5050 because I wanted to step up a bit. Um, but overall, I mean, ease of installation, what are your thoughts on between the two? Uh, yeah, um, that, that's a no brainer because the Epson uh, 4050 comes with its mount and it's, it's just so much, we're, we're so much happier when we actually get the custom fitted mount. You screw nine screws into the top of it. You screw one thing into the top plate and you clip it on there and it comes with the keys and lock. It, it just is an overwhelming amount of stuff that that Pro Cinema series actually comes with. So we are giant fans of the Pro Cinema. And also it's the sleek black look when you have that black projector up top versus that ugly white one. I'm not trying to down talk to 3800, but I am saying they it definitely the, the Epson 4050 definitely has a reason to be worth another thousand dollars on top of it. Um, aside from that, Warren knows all the specs. We've given you all the specs on everything. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Maybe well, if you can pair the 4050 to the 6050, let's say. Yeah, you know, so you, you jump from 4050 to 6050. That's a whole nother ball game too. You're up over a million to one dynamic contrast ratio. So you get even deeper black tones. You get even better vibrant colors. Clarity is about the same as, you know, we know. So um, honestly, that's a big jump up to that $4,000 price point, which is why I kind of chose that middle ground 5050. Now you go back to the white projector and you go back to... Uh, you lose all the stuff. You lose the cool mount that comes with it and uh, the extra lamp and all that good stuff. But um, you kind of have to have some money to burn to get to that higher projector, the 6050. But we're going to put one in next week. And I mean, honestly, they are they are pretty awesome. So, hey, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Do you have any other thoughts? We're yeah, good? Cool, man. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. It's really important to us. We're trying to put out really high quality content for you. Um, it means a lot to us. We actually care about what we're doing here. We have a passion. You know, it's family business. My brother and I have been doing this for many years. We're, we're up, what, over 10 years now? Yeah, 10 years in business. Yeah, 10 years in business. So um, we're killing it. We're really busy all the time, and we have a lot of fun every day out here. So please subscribe, and uh, we'll keep this thing going. We'll keep making content. We'll keep having fun. We've got a lot of really cool cars to show you guys, too. We have a Nissan GTR wide body. We've got a Model 3 Performance. We are into cars and we plan on, in, you know, kind of infusing that into the channel a little bit for those of you who like cars. So we'll do a little series on that. So thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. And see you next time. Nice.